This is code.org. Let's see what we have here. Don't put on event blocks inside other on event blocks. You almost never want to. That is completely true. They say almost because like if you're playing a video game and you want to shoot left, well, on the event that the joystick is held to the left and the left and the shoot button is clicked, something like that. But pretty much no, we're not doing that. So no on event inside of an on event. Do this. Run this program and hit the button. Play the music and then stop the music and hide the controls. So let's try that out. You might be able to hear it. You might not. Oh, oh that's loud. Stopping song. Do you notice something weird happening the second time? Oh, uh oh. Oh, it's playing a. Oh, it won't stop. Make it stop. I'm going to mute it. Okay, so it's playing us some... Discuss with your partner why this happened. Uh, reset. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Debug it. Yikes. Too many sounds. Okay, so why is that happening? Well, on the event that the up button is clicked, what are we going to do? We're going to show these controls. Okay? On the event that the down button is clicked, so what would happen for this to work? On the event that the play button is clicked, it seems like the play and stop buttons aren't working right because they're on events, their clicks are inside of the click the up button. That's a problem. You want on events separated. So the weird behavior that we're seeing is happening because of this requirement. We, once we click the up button, then it will allow us to work with all these other buttons. That's not what we want though, right? We want these to be independent. We don't want to have to click the up button click the down button. That's not what we want. need. We won't have to put these inside of each other because their property is hidden anyways, right? So we don't need this on click event inside of another. We won't be able to click on the button if we don't want the user to be able to. So if the user has not clicked the up button, the down button doesn't even exist. So we can have on event down or stop button outside of this because it doesn't matter. The user cannot see them. They are hidden if they have not clicked the up button, right? So right now, boop, boop, stop, hide. But it's all going to get mixed up if it thinks that we need to click the up button, then on that event, we can use these other buttons. That's not how we want it to work. We have already protected the buttons because play music, and then I could have just gotten rid of these comments because we are hiding the buttons if they if they click up, the buttons hide. If they click down, if they click up, the buttons show. If they click down, the buttons hide. We do not need the on events inside of each other. And you almost never do, because that means two things would have to occur for either of those controls to work properly. All right? So this should take care of it. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, and it shows you down here. Perfect. That one was tricky. Onward.